morning. So today is a day in the life from me, Elizabeth Upgrid, and a day that I'm taking the day off. And I've been spending most of my time in the San Francisco Bay Area, pretty much just getting work done. I got my exposure me out, all that kind of stuff. And I'm not really ready to yet to go on big, huge trips. I have actually changed some of my thoughts about how I'm traveling for the next year. That will be talked about in the future in much more detail. However, the short version is, is that I'm going to be focusing on smaller trips and specifically do something every week, including just little day trips. Today, I'm gonna to drive over to the coast, go for a hike, see the ocean, just kind of enjoy the day. Be unplugged, not do work, not do school work, not work on projects just do whatever I want, which may include hiking, reading, sitting and looking at the ocean, you know, just chill, just chilling out. I am, um, I just woke up, put on some clothes. I'm not going to bother taking a shower because like whatever, I'm just going to go be going hiking and stuff, but I do need to get breakfast and go to the bathroom. But before I do that, I need to defrost the car because as you can see, <laughs> we did get some condensation yesterday. I had the windows cracked and everything. It was very normal. Sometimes I get condensation and sometimes I don't. It really depends on the differential between the temperature and the in, uh, inside the car. And outside, it depends on humidity and many, many things. So. Thank you. You might wonder why I didn't just go into that McDonald's and go to the bathroom. There's a lot of unhoused people around here. And so a lot of the restaurants, it's like either don't let you use the bathroom at all, or you say a code or whatever. It's like, I'm just not in the mood. <laughs> the mood. So I'm going to drive, I think to Home Depot and go to the bathroom there. Also while I'm there at Home Depot, I can fill up my water the rest of the way because they have a water filling station there, which I have water in the back, but it's still. I think that would be a good idea. You also might wonder, why didn't I just go to the bathroom at Planet Fitness? And I, I originally had planned on doing that. The problem is it takes me in the wrong direction, not just like the wrong direction where I'm going today, like 15 minutes wrong way, but also it puts me in a place that makes it hard to like get on the highway and everything. It, and we're here, I'm just like boop, right on the highway. So. You know, this about this is just because I have lived in this part of the world for so long. I kind of know which places are not good places to go in morning rush hour. Oh, they're gonna have Christmas trees here. I bet it's all big black thing blocked out. Okay, anyway, I'm distracted by things going on. But yeah, so it would I would get stuck in school traffic, rush hour traffic, all that stuff. So this way, I avoid all that traffic. And I have been to this Home Depot to go to the bathroom at other times. And obviously I've been here just to like shopping at Home Depot, but I don't think I've ever been to this one at this time in the morning. So it will not look like I come here all the time. I don't come here every day. I come here maybe once a week. So I have like a whole route of restrooms that I use that are all different. And so that way I don't come to any place very often. Oh, look how cute this is. So tiny. Since I have migraines, I have to kind of make hay while the sun shines. So I have a tendency to keep working every day, especially when I'm in town, you know? The way I don't have migraines, but I feel okay, I'll be keep work, 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 because my number one priority right now is making money so I can pay off debt and get my next vehicle but I want to also enjoy life besides work, right? And it's not that I don't like my work, but yeah, I wanna also do other things. So my number two priority is travel. And I decided that doing big, huge, giant, on the road life kind of trips where I would go out for months and months at a time is just something that is too hard to do right now, number one, because I ha I'm focusing on work, you know, but also because of this rig. So while I love my Honda Civic and I can sleep great in it, and when I'm in town, it actually works really, really well. On the road, it is not the best because I can't take as much stuff with me because it's harder to cook in here. I can, but it's harder to cook in here, which means that if it's raining or the weather's bad or whatever, it, it creates issues. And because 
it cannot go, you know, this is not high clearance. There's a lot of places it can't go. So what I decided to do is focus on work and have travel be second, which means that I'm not traveling, you know, going to go out for six months at a time or, or whatever it is. I'm going to stay. I'm not going to have my trips be relatively short. So my plan is to have every week I go at least one little trip, one day trip. Every month I go on a camping trip, at least two or three days. And then every quarter I go on a big trip, one, two, three weeks at least. And during the big trip, I will still work on that trip that will be a working trip. But the thing is, I, re I consider this to be... So I'm going to go ahead and eat some of my breakfast. So here's the San Francisco Bay Area. So as you can see, there's like all this cityness here. This is actually San Francisco's way up here. There's all this cityness here. And then there's all this green space. And then the beach. So if you want to get to the beach, in San Francisco, you can go straight over to the beach, Ocean Beach. But you could also drive down Highway 1 all the way down to Santa Cruz. So I'm thinking I'm gonna go to Butano State Park, which is somewhere that I used to go camping, but this all burned up all here. So like Big Basin also burned up. I have been there since it burned, but I haven't been to Butano. And then I also think I'm gonna go to some places along here that I used to go to back in the day when I used to live kind of like where I live, like in this part. So I used to go to over here a lot. So that like Pescadero, these beaches along here, cause they used to be kind of my old haunting ground back in the day and I haven't been there in a while. Mm -hmm. places along highway one in california where you can pull over but like here it is on a weekday at i actually can't see what time it is because 7 41 in the morning and these pullover spots are taken now some of them have rvs and vans and stuff so i'm thinking someone spent the night there but then some of them are just cars obviously someone can sleep in a car because i sleep in a car but it i think also people have, are already here to do stuff and by the way, I'm filming this in November. So it's, it is amazing how much busier this part of the world is now than it was 20 years ago. I think back then people just wasn't, weren't aware. So one of the reasons I'm going to where I'm going is because it's another, you know, half an hour down this road. So I'm going to get farther away from where people are. <laughs> Cause you know, I like to be in places that aren't super busy and these places are busy, which is totally fine. Cause they're closer to town and like people you know, you want to have some places that are easier to reach, right? But I am wanting to go where there's fewer people. So as y'all know, if you've watched any of my other videos where I've talked about, you know, how I pass the time and what I do with my life kind of on a daily basis, I'm taking a bunch of classes. And I don't know if I'm going to get another degree. I have many degrees, but I don't know if I'm going to get another degree if I'm just going to take classes. I haven't decided that yet. I'm only going to get a degree if I think it's important for me to do for what I plan to do. Well, I don't know. Maybe I'll just get a degree because I enjoy I enjoy checking, checking off boxes and completing things. And I'll be really, but all the classes that I want to take, I'll be like really close to an associate's degree. So I might take the, you know, two or three more classes I need to finish that out. But anyway, what I think I want to do is make, like I absolutely love making videos. And I'm still, you know, working on my skills making videos. I mean, I've been making stuff for YouTube for many, many, many years. but most of it has been things where I'm, you know, talking head, teaching stuff, talking about things. Now, obviously this channel is different. This channel is about, is a, you know, vlogging kind of channel, which is a very different kind of filmmaking. And I'm still learning the skills of this, especially applying it to my particular style. But I don't want to just be doing vlogs. I want to actually do something that has a bit more complexity to it. So what I'm thinking is that I want to do documentaries that, I mean, I'm not saying that it's going to be film documentaries you see at a movie theater, but they might just be on, on YouTube, but about other people, not just about myself, you know? So about people who are nomadic, about people who are living in vehicles, about people who are living off grid, you know, kind of this world that y'all are in, that I am in, 
there's a lot of people who are making videos with this and they'll in interview people about their, you know, van life build or, or whatever, but not necessarily from a anthropological perspective, you know, they're making it more, they're making videos for YouTube. There have been documentaries made, you know, obviously No Man Lad and things like that, but I'm talking about more like a like series of things. So like, like a, how a YouTube channel is. And that's what I'm like, and I want it to be more scientific. I'm taking classes in anthropology, geology. I'm planning to take classes in geography, part of, mostly because I absolutely love maps, but it actually really helps. Like a lot of these things really overlap. And I also want to take all kinds of other classes that are related to these things. I want to actually be able to speak Spanish fluently, which is very doable. And I'll probably look at some other languages too that will be applicable to the people who are in that this world. But I think Spanish is a really good place to start, especially because it's not. Spanish is the easiest language for an English speaker to learn. Now, you all know that I'm also studying Japanese. That's not really for this. This is, that's a personal interest. So I can go to Japan and travel around. But, but yeah, like I haven't decided if I actually need a degree to do this or if it will be, it would be important at all or not. It might be helpful to have a degree because then it gives credibility. But as a lawyer, I have a lot of credibility as a lawyer. I mean, I know people hate lawyers and stuff, but it also is something that people, they put you in a certain category if you ha are a lawyer or a doctor or, you know, these various different professional disciplines or an engineer. I mean, there's a lot of things that are professions and you are looked at differently if you have something like that, which is helpful. Now, I have, of course have to always combat the whole Lawyers who have been terrible to people leave a very big mark on them. And so I have to regularly change people's minds, not by actually trying to change their minds, but just by being who I am as a person. And then people figure out that I'm not that kind of lawyer. But anyway, all right, I'm going to just focus on enjoying the drive. Talk to you later. area burned the fire. Okay, so I've arrived and I need to get my parking pass out and put it up because this is a fee, fee area and go to the bathroom. See the bathrooms are open and there's a porta potties here and I need to look at the trail closures because this place caught on fire and so there's a lot of the trails you can't go on but some of them you can't. This is a picnic area but it is very kind of wet and damp and cold here. It is apparently 41 degrees. <laughs> I'm in short sleeves but that's just because I want to have layers on and I'm going to put on more stuff. So think first though, I need to go to the bathroom. Well, they do have hand sanitizer. So I've gone to the bathroom in a very tiny pit to the toilet, but you know how I'm totally fine doing that because I didn't have to pee on the ground, especially in the cold. And I also didn't have to go to the bathroom in my little thing, container things. That, did I show you that? No, I haven't shown you that. So I will in the future. All right, got my vehicle day use pass. That is up. That was the first thing to do. My battery's at 100% for my CPAP. So that is back there. I have one more breakfast sandwich to eat, which is, I'm going to eat that before I start hiking or anything. I need to clean off, wash off my mouth guard as I'm kind of doing all my morning routine things right now. And I need to take 
my vitamins and allergy medicine. So that's one of the things that I actually did not do a good job of the last time I traveled, which was doing my normal routine things. I'm not going to worry about like doing work. You know, that's part of my routine or, or doing my finances, but I need to do medicine. I also actually need to replace my patch. <laughs> so that's another thing I'm going to do this morning before I go, because you know what? This is just my normal life. All right. So I got that. Ever since I had so many allergy problems that I think helps cause migraines for me, I've been much more hardcore about allergy medicine. I did see one other person here who a guy walked by didn't even like look at me. So there are people here. There's nobody in this parking lot, which makes sense. It is pretty early in the morning because we're an hour away from town or more depending upon what town you're in. And so people have to get up pretty early like me to have gotten here already for a day hike. One of the reasons I like to do my day hikes early is so I beat any kinds of crowds. It's not going to be a crowd here today, don't be wrong. It's also pretty chilly. So you're not going to have a ton of people because of that. All right, now I'm taking my vitamins. I take calcium with vitamin D and vitamin B12. That's all I'm taking right now. I have taken other stuff in the past, but these are the ones that actually doctors told me to take. You know, So these are the ones that are actually important to take. I get my vitamins from care of and they are not a sponsor, but I, you know, there's a link below if you want to, like, I think if you click on the link, then you get a discount. And I get a discount or something like that. They are, I really like their calcium with vitamin D because the other calciums that I've tried all kinds of different ones, they all gave me digestive problems and these ones don't. And they must work because I don't, I test fine when the doctors test me. So reasonably work. All right. Now I need to replace my patch. These patches are back ordered, which is kind of making me nervous. So I have two left. So if they don't figure it out, uh, I will actually contact my doctors what I will do. <laughs> okay. So now I'm going to look at the map and figure out where I want to go because there are trail closures. So the trail closures are up on the hills, which I wasn't planning on doing a big hike on the hills anyway. So that's totally 100% fine. I am parked in the, right here, I think. So that, so, and this is a perfectly fine place for me just to leave my car. I will move things around before I go on a hike. And there's a hike that is, let's see, that's 0. 0.7. Looks like it'd be about two miles round trip. It's very hard to tell actually. But I think that looks pretty good, you know, for a nice little walk around. All right, now I am going to eat the rest of my food and then start getting ready for going on a hike. Okay, I get to use my new backpack. Oh, no. But it's way deep down in the car, so. Uh -huh. And also, I can use my binoculars. My hiking poles are here. I'm super excited about this. Ready to go. Oh my gosh, my backpack. I mean, I have hardly anything in here, but it is so comfortable. It fits me so well. My old backpack was decades old, decades. And there's new technology in backpacks, which is kind of weird to think about, but it's true. And also it's just, it did not work. It wasn't big enough, it didn't fit enough things. Oh, so nice here. Oh, not even a hundred percent sure where the trail goes. There's the road. Oh, it's over here. One of the reasons I wanted to 
incorporate day trips back into my life is that I didn't want to go hiking, even short hikes that are nearby where I used to live, even hikes I've done before, in a training way, training for something else. Like you're not actually living life, you're just preparing for life. There's always this like preparing, goal setting, getting ready for things, which I love that kind of stuff. However, you also want to just live. So that's one of the reasons I decided to do day trips. So I can remember that this is why I do this kind of stuff, you know? So I can go to places like this in the middle of a, a day on a Wednesday. I particularly like doing it on Wednesdays. I think Wednesdays is a good day because fewer people, the least amount of people, I think. Fridays and Mondays get weekend people of three-day weeks, you know, three-day weekends. So that's the idea of this, is I'm not doing this hike to in preparation for something else, but just for enjoyment, just because I like it. Now, right now, I'm actually walking on a road, looking for a trail. The problem is there's all these little use trails I don't think are the actual trails. Here we go. Here's a trail I was looking for. Mill Ox Trail. Oh no, that's a hill. <laughs> okay, good job to me going up this hill. The hardest part wasn't just that it was hill, but it's muddy and there are wet leaves and all kinds of detritus. So you have to be really careful with your feet so you don't slip. I got up my little hill today. Well, hopefully this is the only big hill. So part of this hike is actually a test of my new backpack. Oh my gosh, I like it so much. Not only is it bigger so I can put more things, like I just put my jacket in there. With, have, it's totally easy and had tons of them. But the straps are configured better, so it's easier to tighten and loosen and stuff. So much better. All right, I need to put the, <laughs> the camera away so I don't trip and fall. Not because I'm looking at the camera, because I'm not, but because I can't use my hiking poles and the camera. I realize, I realize there are spider webs in the trail, so I have to look down and so I don't step on banana slugs, but keep looking up so I don't walk through a spider web with spiders. That's the, the one problem with hiking when there's no one else around is the spider webs across the trail. so impressed by these people who bike this road. It is a very difficult road and scary. Like look at these big giant trucks going by. I decided just to stop at the very first beach. 
<laughs> I didn't go very far all. I went like you, you would walk from this, where the street was to where this beach is. There's only one other car in the parking lot. So yeah, and there's a uh, porta potties here and actually trash service too. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna chill here for a while. There is some road noise. There's a helicopter going overhead right now, but anywhere you're gonna get that. The guy I think was trying to hitch a ride with me asked me, are you going to Watsonville? No, you were going to see I was like, first no. And also in second, no. Also, he said, where are you going? You happen to go to Watsonville. And I'm like, no. And Sandra, I'm like, no. He's like, where are you going? The ocean. So first, yes. <laughs> Actually, that's where I'm going. Second, I mean, it is amazing how some people, like, I have no problem with the fact that people hitch, but I don't think you should approach a single woman. And also, I that's a very imposition-y thing. I don't have to tell you where I'm going. I'm like, no, I'm going north. He's like, oh. It was like as if his, like I must be lying and I said, oh, something. Also, I couldn't give someone whatever I wanted to, but besides that, I ain't ever given someone a ride. Some random man to come into my car. Like, what? So I decided to get out my peanut butter and I have a loaf of bread and have peanut butter sandwich. Cause it's actually cool enough. I can't eat peanut butter when it's hot. I don't know why that is, but I can't. How much, how much beef bread can I have? 13 grams per slice. So I can have more than one sandwich, but I'm gonna start with one sandwich. This is just cheap wheat bread from Target. So I actually bought this bread a long time ago and it's still good, which actually makes you think, ah, this has a gazillion preservatives. Now, so the that guy who came up to me to try to hitch, there are some times where if someone did that, I would totally leave. But he actually didn't have a creepy vibe when it came down to it. He had a, he has troubles vibe, which is a different vibe. You have to trust your gut. And I do. I trust my gut more now than I even used to. So, um, so I'm actually very excited about this peanut butter sandwich. I wish that the no sugar added was more available in crunchy. I like crunchy peanut butter more than creamy. If I dislike creamy, now, as you will see, I am just doing a peanut butter sandwich. I do not like jelly and peanut butter together. I think that is disgusting. Now, I'd rather have it be toasted, but I am not getting out all my stuff to toast. <laughs> if I was at a campground, then I would, because I would already have it out. You know what I mean? But I am not. So I'm just having a simple little peanut butter sandwich. Peanut butter toast is much better. Cutting with a wooden knife is not the best two sandwich sides and this doesn't have dairy right no dairy but it does contain a bioengineered food ingredient but it is except for the traffic and helicopter occasional it is super quiet one of the things that i love about going out like on a drive going hiking being in a place like this where i can talk to myself aka talk to y'all is it really helps me think through it in my life to really decide and kind of realize what I want to do, decisions I want to make, how I want to change things, how what I want to keep the same. I mean, it's, it is very, very helpful to have this space, both the space literally physically, as well as space just temporally, you know, but now we have a car coming up. Balance out the peanut butter. I have one of my applesauce snacks. Well, I had like a little kid meal. One thing that's interesting, being in a remote place where I'm not busy 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 doing things it's time just passes like it's 11 45 i've been here maybe an hour and a half or something and i don't even know what i did <laughs> i just i thought about things and i wrote in my organizer and i wrote my notebook and i had a peanut butter sandwich i mean i don't know nothing it is nice to just be still and quiet and not really do much of anything i think it's it's very good for creativity. It's very good for making decisions. It's very good just kind of for, I don't know, your soul to just do nothing sometimes. Yeah, you know, I, I actually have a problem in when I'm 
but I'm camping this isn't true because I'll be, I'd be there long enough. But when I'm just going somewhere for the day like this, I'm still kind of in getting stuff done mode, crossing things off the list, being productive mode. I like being productive. I like getting things done. I'm not in unplugged travel mode. So like I'm sitting here being like, okay, what am I going to do? Am I going to do this? 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 You know, going down a mental list of things to do or even an actual list of things to do as opposed to not doing anything, you know, to just be chill. It's, it is a different frame of mind to just like, it's like I'm almost forcing myself to sit here and do nothing and just chill, chill, Elizabeth, just chill. Just kind of let my brain process things in life and think about stuff. Yeah. It, it is strange how that can be difficult in our world. One of the huge advantages of living in a car, of having very few things, comparatively speaking, to when I lived in a house or apartment, is that I have more time and energy and space to just think because things aren't just filled up, you know? When I lived in an apartment, I never, or house, it was very hard for me to just sit and do nothing. Now, part of it I've realized is because I was inside. I sit and do nothing much better when I'm outside. Being in a car is also outside. It's, I don't know, it's the fresh air. It's the having a look at nature, all that kind of stuff. I just had a thought, maybe that car, see, yeah, there's no bikes on the bike rack, was the peep, the two people who went by me earlier. Maybe that was them. They parked here, got their bikes, and then rode on that road. I don't know why that matters. But a lot of times when I'm out, especially, I mean, anytime, but I'm out in remote places and I, I'm just like, who is that person? What are they doing? Where are they going? Where have they been? Where are they at right now? Like, I just have all this, like, excess curiosity. You know what song is in my head right now? We built this city. Da, da. We built this city on rock and roll. Built this city. I mean, uh, what an earworm. I cannot get <laughs> <laughs> so I'm leaving this spot, even though I like it pretty well, but the guy came in a smoking pot and like the smoke is just coming. I mean, <laughs> it makes me not some people smoke cigarettes or pot and they're not cognizant of where their smoke is going. And it's like, you know, I'm here in this beautiful fresh air and I have to deal with the smoke of your pot. Like I don't have a problem with someone smoking pot. Like it's legal, whatever, you know, but there's many, many other places I can go. So that's what I'm going to do right now. day goes on it gets busier and busier on this road and the parking lots are busier and busier I'm really not in the mood to read a book like I don't want to start another book and I don't know where I was in the books I was reading. And one thing that is not that great about State Park beaches is there's no shade. While it is not hot, it is sunny. And while I could totally put my window coverings up, I mean, what is the point of me being at the beach if I can't see it? I can't see the beach. This is actually a much, not only busier because it's people, but much more busy place with the cars.
So here we are at another state beach that's actually not very far away in a parking lot. There are definitely other people here. There's an RV here, but and there's multiple RVs. It's a bird checking me out. I stopped here because I don't really actually want to leave yet, but that bird has troubles. But I didn't want to be at that parking lot because it just was a little bit too busy. So yeah, so I thought I'd try this one. Also this one I have internet, so I actually could do stuff here, which is kind of nice. So what have I been doing? I'm actually studying for my geology class. So I have a ge online geology class. So it's all it is studying in the sense that there's no classes that you go to. You read the book and take notes and watch videos and then take quizzes and do assignments. So I actually just, I have enough internet that I can work on this stuff. So I actually just did that. And the thing is, I'm going to school for my own enjoyment. So I'm not like, it doesn't feel like work. This is, this is, you know, enjoyable, interesting stuff. I very much like geology. I fl like looked into what it would take if I wanted to actually, you know, pursue this further. The thing is, I have no interest in taking calculus again or general chemistry or physics again. I took them many, many years ago, 30 years ago. And while I wouldn't, couldn't rely on that, but it's too, way too long ago. I don't remember all the stuff, you know, but I don't really want to repeat it either. I'm not like super interested in those classes. I enjoy the geology because I've never taken it before. And that's the big thing is I may end up deciding to get actual degrees and things, but I'm going to be taking classes I haven't taken before, even my general requirements. So if I take math again, I'm going to take statistics, which I never weirdly never took. I never took statistics class. And, I, and you'd have to take math to get, to get a degree, even associate's degree in community college. There's a couple general requirements that I'm not super interested in taking, like taking English 101. I think they call it 1A community college, but I actually never took that. So when I was in college, we took freshman studies at my school. It was this year long class that effectively is the English 101, English 102 series, which at community college is like English 1A, English 1B or something, English 1C, I don't know. It was effectively that it was we had reading stuff, writing, writing, learning how to write and do research and do citations. It's like all that stuff, which every school is going to make you do some class in life. So if I was going to get a degree, I'd have to take that one, that class. I'd also have to take a class in oral communication. I took speech back when I was in college, my interest in taking that again. And also I feel like it would be weird. I've been paid to speak. It'd be weird to take a class like speech 101. So they, but they have other classes in the communications department. Like I could take personal communications. There's a lot of things I think would be much more applicable to what I want to do in the future. So but besides that, there's a ton of general requirements, but there's always some things that I'm interested in taking in any of those areas. And I would have wanted to take anyway. So we shall see. But looking at the geology major, which at some schools is like some kind of earth science or something like that. Every school calls it a little bit different. Yeah, I'm not, I, I don't want to take all the chemistry, physics, calculus stuff again because I already did it. I got good grades, pretty good grades in those classes 30 years ago. And we're just going to go with that. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not redoing that. And also things like taking a class in documentary filmmaking which is, would be very much related to the stuff I do here. You know what I mean? So, and just, you know, anything that is of general interest to me, I'm going to be registering for classes for next semester in a couple of weeks, but, um, so they don't haven't actually released the schedule yet. So anyway, I've been, I took a, a quiz and a test for the last unit and now I think I'm going to go ahead and start on the next unit because I'm just kind of like it is nice just to be here in this quiet place in a parking lot that I could literally park at all day if I wanted to there's nature it's not that many people around here there is a restroom back there if I need to use it yeah it's kind of funny I can't actually see the ocean from here but part of that's because I picked this up because it's sunlight is coming in right here and it would be too hot be not that it's hot it's like 60 degrees, but it would be direct sunlight on me, which I do not want. 
but I can go look at the ocean whenever I would like. If I parked where I could see the ocean, I'd be right next to people and I'd rather be by myself and no ocean in my direct line than by the ocean and having to have people right next to me. One thing that I changed about this trip as well as the idea of trips is I had been like, well, you know, I'm going to unplug. I'm going to go out and completely disconnect and not check the news and not check my email and not do any work and not do any studying and da, da, da. I think I really needed to do that back in the day where I was living in an apartment and I needed to unplug, you know, like I, I don't think I need that now in the same way because I'm outside so much. I get so much connection with nature compared to before. I'm not like desperate for that. So I'm thinking more of an integrated life. And the idea is being having a day or two each week where I come out to places like this and combine my schoolwork or my video editing or my legal work with hiking and, you know, being out in more remote places, comparatively speaking, and doing that, it, it, you know, every week, every month, every quarter at different varying amounts of how much I will do it. Kind of as part of figuring out how to live on the road in a way that works for me. As I said, I've talked about, I really don't think living on the road permanently works for me in a Honda Civic because I just need a little bit more space, not really space for myself to like sleep or anything like that. Cause I'm totally good with that. I'm good with this chair and this bed. I need space to cook inside. I need space for stuff and and also space to cook outside to make it a little bit easier. Like what I'm envisioning with the Subaru Outback is having my cooking stuff be in the back. So I would, I could sit at the end of my bed and cook because of electricity. But then I could also open up the hatchback if the weather's nice or I want to and stand outside and cook right there. Then I might use electricity or I might use propane. It would depend on what I have, but that's what I'm thinking. One of the things I'm going to do, not right when I get back, but over the next, you know, few weeks or whatever, is I'm going to separate all my electric cooking stuff so I can grab and go that. I might even keep it inside here because I do, I can cook with electricity in here. It's just super awkward, but I think it'd be, I definitely want to have that with me when I'm on the road, when I'm in remote places, because I don't want to ever get stuck where I need to cook food or want to cook food and it's you know pouring down rain or or buggy or super cold or whatever and I want to do it inside using electricity and I don't have that stuff with me or it's very hard to get and if it's all like in one container that should work out very well what do I do with my pen how do I lose a pen in like five seconds I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. I haven't sneezed yet. Okay. I need something else to eat. Kind of a bit of a mess in here. These are stale. There's some onions. There's the bread. I cannot find the rest of my mayonnaise packet. I have a whole bunch of them, like, like a huge amount. There's no way they're like lost. But they're somewhere in my car. I don't know where. Okay, now we're gonna make some chicken salad-ish kind of a thing. All right, so for this meal, what I have is this white chicken. So this says no draining. That is a lie. It will need to be drained. It will be disgusting if I don't drain it. There we are. We have two things of mayonnaise. I'd, I'd rather have a little bit more than that, but here we are. I have these crisp breads, probably slightly uh, stale, but then I have crispy onions, which is always good. It's always good. I also have salt and pepper, which I'm going to get out right now. I use all this stuff to make my food. I also have a fork 
to get the chicken out and also kind of drain it because otherwise it's yucky. Okay, now the chicken that comes in those packets is something that before, back in the day, I probably would not have <laughs> you've eaten, but now I do. But I'm just more flexible about certain things. I just remember that sunset is 5 p.m. And you might think that I want to stay here till sunset so I can see the sunset. But I've seen the sunset over the ocean many, many times. So I'm not like, like if I'd never seen it before, that'd be one thing. But I have. And I really actually don't want to have to drive back super curvy roads in the dark. But here's the issue is where I'm at to where I'm going going getting over the mountains there won't be rush hour traffic or anything however once i get to the other side and i have to drive back to where i usually sleep i don't know how i'm gonna avoid traffic so i haven't figured that out yet i think that is one of the issues <laughs> with coming out here and spending the whole day here is i have to get back obviously i don't have to get back i could just sleep out here somewhere not in any of these park parking lots of course because these get shut down to sunset or maybe like half an hour after or an hour after sunset or something like that. But I have to leave. I have to park on one of those random places. One of them that doesn't say no reliant parking allowed. Can I totally do that? Yes, I could totally do that. Not really set up for it, but I could. However, I don't actually want to. I plan to be back tonight to do the various things that I do at night. The big thing about if I was going to sleep out here in the winter like this, well, besides the fact that I actually would get really chilly and windy, um, and I am not completely set up for that. I actually need one more blanket. I have tons of my blankets, but I have, don't have them all in here yet. The other issue is that once it gets dark, then they shut down everywhere you have to go to the bathroom. And the problem is, is that you don't have cover really to just pee outside. I do now have my new thing, which are these little bags, these urine bags, but I haven't actually tested them out and I'm not planning to do that today. So yeah. So yeah, that's kind of an interesting little side effect is it gets dark so early I have to go back if I want to not have to drive on the curvy roads in the dark. But it's only three, three, it's only 310 right now. I got two hours before sunset so I can do a few more things and I'm gonna have a snack and chill out for a while before I head back. Oh, and by the way, I looked and the, the traffic has already started. <laughs> traffic already happens at like three o'clock. I mean, it's just, there, there, we will be nice someday in the future. I will be able to not live in a city that has bad traffic. But right now I'm still doing it because I'm, you know, doing my goals of working and making money to pay off debt and buy a new vehicle. What you doing, buddy? So you can see sun is getting closer to setting. Uh, I don't want to drive back in the dark. So I'm going to drive over the hill and start driving back. And if I hit horrible traffic, I'm just going to get off and go get something to eat. And, but then I'll be in town. So there'll be places to eat yeah, or, you know, I'll just stop at a parking lot or whatever I'm going to do, but. I kind of feel like this bird is like some kind of message. Or has a message for me. Continue on California 92 East for 8 miles. Ah, so, I am off the highway. It was a parking lot. It was ridiculous. 
And I just drove on a road for a while until I got to a place where there was a parking lot with stuff in it, including, you know, McDonald's, Panda Express, you know, various different things. I don't, I probably will go into Panda and get something to eat. Anyway, I'm glad to be off the highway. I'm glad to be over the hill because it was really bad traffic and a lot of construction and stuff that made it difficult. So I am going to get something to eat and chill for a little bit and then I will head back to the part of town where I tend to be at. It is, it is only five o'clock. Suns are going down. Uh, I hate this. Yep, went to Panda Express, got a bunch of food. So I'm just gonna sit here, eat my food, watch a show until traffic dies down a bit and then I'll head on back. So my fortune is not a fortune. It says invest in others. It is very bossy. And that's not a fortune at all. And I am not happy about it. Yeah. So I did a bunch of studying and now I am leaving to go somewhere to the bathroom. So I went to the bathroom at the library not really that long ago actually, but it's like I don't quite have, I wanna go a little bit closer to when I go to sleep so I can make it all the way to the morning for sure. So that's why I leave to go to, I have numbers from places that I go. And I am wanting to kind of have other solutions for that. But going to the bathroom in a car is a, shall we say, a logistical challenge. Physically, how you arrange for it. I do have something I am going to test. I'm not going to obviously show you, like, what the heck. But I, I do have something I'm going to test. And if it works, I'll let you know. I don't think I would still use it every night because I don't even want to deal with that. But like, it is good for the times where I'm tired, or I have a migraine, or I'm somewhere where I just can't get to somewhere that where I can go to the bathroom, or I really just don't want to. Free phones, no ID. One thing I just like being in town is the how bathrooms, it's a bigger deal to go to the bathroom because like, when I was at the Panda Express, not around here in a different part of town, you'd have a code to go to the bathroom. So I actually had to get my food first before I went to the bathroom and take the food in with me into the bathroom. It's just like, I'd rather go to the bathroom before I get my food, but you know, then I'd have to go after the code before I'm a customer. And I understand why they do that, but it's creates inconveniences for everybody because I am a customer. That is what it is. But, <sighs> so I'm sorry to become tired. I actually could have kept studying from the perspective of I didn't need to go to the bathroom, but I'm tired and I kept looking at the same stuff over and over again. I couldn't, you know, retain any of it, write any of it down. So that means that it is time to move on to the next thing. I typically go to the bathroom at 8 p.m. And I say that to my husband other who's just like, you go to the bathroom at certain times. I am literally training my bladder to not be overactive. So it isn't that I'm like holding it in or somehow damaging my bladder by not going to the bathroom. It is that because of anxiety, I have a bladder that is not connected to my brain correctly. And I have to retrain it or it thinks that it sends all these signals and I like literally, I will go to the bathroom and there's nothing to go. So the point of that is, that TMI is that it works for me to have certain times where I go. Not most time during the day, I don't, but like I don't go after 8 p.m. because then I'll be training my bladder to need to go after 8 p.m. That's what I mean. So this actually works really well for me is to go to the bathroom around the, at around eight and it's I uh, guess really eight o'clock on the dot. Sometimes it's seven fifty. Sometimes it is eight thirty. But the idea is to go around eight o'clock so that way I and if I do that I can reliably get to six or seven o'clock in the morning and not be like when I first started living in a car, I would be it would be painful how much I had to go. And it was just because my body was used to me going at five o'clock in the morning. So it was ready to go at five o'clock in the morning. Where now, sometimes I'll sleep in, sleep in until 7 a.m. 
And that means I don't get to the gym until 7, 15, 7 30 by the time I, you know, get myself all ready and pull down my things and then drive there and all that and put my stuff together to go inside, you know. Now it's even if I get to the gym at 7, 7 30, probably more like 6 30 because the time change, you know, now. But I still have, I'm not like dying to go to the bathroom. I go in and I put myself away, I put my shoes on, you know, and, and then I go to the bathroom and it's a very, it's not a stressful thing at all. And that took a lot of training for the connection between my brain and my bladder to work correctly. So yeah, I'm still going to chill out here a little bit. Like I'll watch a show or something like that. I'll watch some YouTube or watch a video on YouTube or something. And then I'll go ahead and go into the almost dead mall to go to the bathroom. Okay, I am in for the night. I am in this car. I will not get out until tomorrow morning when I arrive at Planet Fitness. Now, I'm not going to be in this parking lot. I will actually be in, another, in one more parking lot after this parking lot before I go to where I'm going to sleep. So, this isn't the only place I go to the bathroom in the evening. It's just one of the places in my rotation because it's a little bit farther away, but I can come here. I can come here every single night. No one care. I just don't want to drive this far. Uh, another place I come and do commonly is Target is a certain particular target not because it's the cleanest bathroom because it's not but because that it is the parking lot that i feel safe in and i'm most comfortable in there are other parking lots where people have approached me you know just i'm just like nope nope i'm gonna go to that one even though it's a little bit farther away the parking lot that i hang out a lot in between now so 8 30 ish till when i go to bed is very close to where I go to bed and also is a parking lot where the stores are open 24 hours or at least one of them is and a lot of them are open very late and has very strong lights and so I feel not only comfortable in that lot and I no one is kicking anybody out or anything like that but also there's so much light I can actually do stuff my I can do my evening routine here in this lot it's very dark inside my car as you can see, I can't really see anything in the car, which makes it difficult for me to do any of my evening routine things. So, and also just to pass the time, if I want to read something, whatever, it's just very dark in here. And yeah, I can use my Kindle, I can use my tablet, I can use my laptop and, you know, things that all have a light, their own light, you know. And I also, I do have a book light. But the thing is, if it's very dark in out and then I use a light, it's very bright. I don't cover my windows until I'm going to sleep. And even after I cover my windows, I do not turn on lights. And the reason is, is that it's not perfect. The window coverings are not perfect. There's little bits around the edges. So it would be obvious that I'm in here and I don't want anyone to know that I'm in here. Obviously, I'm sure some people guess, but you don't want to make it obvious. I'm still very sniffly. My allergies are still bothering me ever since I had the, the CPAP condensation problem. I did put a snuggly on the CPAP hose and I don't know if it's making a difference or not because it has been that cold, but you know, maybe it's making a difference. All right. You see how bright it is? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I actually like that brightness because I can do stuff in my car. And there are many, many other people in this lot who are also sitting in their cars, waiting for something, hanging out, whatever. There's vans that could be van life people. I mean, you know, a number of people who are doing the same kind of a thing every night. There's this is one guy, I don't see him out right now, who brings a chair and sets it out. I'm like, that's pretty hardcore. That is not stealth. So yeah, now we are in, let me see what time it is. Now it, now it is 8.34 PM. So there's normal evening routine for me. If I feel very awake, sometimes I will study. I'm not today in the sense, not, not I'm, that I'm sleepy, but like my brain has done a lot of things. Not work things or studying things. I did some studying, but, but it's like I've done a lot of driving and that's tiring. Because so I've done, I did, it took an hour to get the state park and now there. So I probably did two and a half hours of driving not including just driving around town, but like the actual big drive because it was an hour and then about another 20, 30 minutes and then another hour. So yeah. And some of that was in traffic, like hardcore traffic, not very much of it, but some of it was 
and that was hard for me. The part of town where I went to the Panda Express is a much more dense part of town than here. And so like everything is more busy. Like see how this lot is really big. You can't see how this lot is really big, but this, this lot is really big. And, and no matter what time of year it is, it there's always spots in this lot. There are many parts of the San Francisco Bay area where there are no spots in the lot, none. It doesn't even have to be like a super intense time of year. But when you get to like holidays and stuff, there's nowhere to park at all. One thing that will be interesting is, is as we get to Thanksgiving and Christmas and all these big holidays for shopping, both grocery shopping and stuff shopping, will it be hard for me to find places to park uh, as far as parking lots go? Now, there's always going to be the issue of things being closed and, you know, where do I hang out? Where do I go to the bathroom, etc. Planet Fitness has a couple of days where they're closed, but it's also just the literally everything being crowded, you know? However... There's a good side of it, which is that many things, many stores will be open really late. They'll be open till 10, 11, 12. So since it will be busy, no one will notice when I'm in there. So that, that is something that's good about that. I really enjoyed going for that hike this morning. And I really enjoyed going for a hike that wasn't like I'm trying to put in these miles or train for some other hike that I'm doing or whatever. It was just going on it for itself, you know? It, just driving somewhere where there's very few people, especially because I was there early in the morning and going on a nice little hike. And also it didn't have to be super intense. It can be just an enjoyable hike. And since I was filming it, I actually you know, stopped a whole lot, which was good because I looked at things. I saw those banana slugs. I saw so many different, you know, I really looked at plants. I really looked at views and things like that, partially because I was shooting it. But, uh, but that was good. It actually had this good side effect of making me stop more and go slower and listen, listen to the sounds, listen to the water and the creek, you know, all that kind of stuff. I did enjoy being at the beach and working there at the beach. What I didn't enjoy is the fact of getting back, the rush hour, literally, the rush hour of getting back. I did not enjoy that. You know, ways around that is to go to a place where I don't have a rush hour coming back, stay later. Or, you know, spend the night there. I mean, you know. <sighs> Next week, I'm going to be going camping. And I will be testing out a new thing I got. That's a birthday present. Yay! And you'll get to see that next time. And actually, that'll probably be the next vlog that I post on next, next Friday. I am excited to go camping. And I'm also excited to test this thing out. I think it will be good. And this camping site is like our... And 15 minutes away it's not that far at all and I've actually weirdly never been there and I don't know why I've never been there I, that's one of the kind of funny things is I'm discovering a whole bunch of campgrounds that are actually really close that weirdly I never went to or knew about no idea one man I'm tired one thing I miss about not just living in an apartment or house but also camping remote dispersed camping all that stuff is I can just go to bed when I'm tired. Like I really can't go to the place that I sleep super early because I want to go when people aren't there. I've gone as early as nine something, but still a little bit earlier for that. I am like dozing off in between each turn of civilization. Okay. Now you can see how I brush my teeth. So first I have my spray bottle. This is my water. I use this to wash dishes and to brush teeth it is my running water that's not even remotely running. I have my trash can right here, which is gonna be the sink that I spit in and what have you. And yeah, this is how I brush my teeth. I have like a napkin that from something I ate earlier today. So I have both floss, I have floss and picks. Uh, I, the picks is something that's fairly new because I can no longer use a water pick. So now I'm using regular on water, whatever. I don't know. Things are just called picks. I need to refill this. I have floss. It's just in my storage unit. Now I'm going to floss. I'm going to turn this off while I do this because I can't deal with you watching me floss. Did my flossing and my picking. Now I'm going to brush my teeth. So I have a full size toothbrush and full size toothpaste that's in my, my Planet Fitness bag. This is in my purse. So sometimes when I go into a bathroom, I just brush my teeth right then. But sometimes I do not. 
And so I keep making, oh, one of the things is this has to be closed. Otherwise this will get accidentally pushed and then get water all over. So, so I'm literally just spraying this on here to get this wet and put toothpaste on and brush my teeth like how a person would normally brush their teeth. But when I need to have more water, when I need to spit, I just spit into my garbage right here. And then, and I use this to, you know, put more water on my toothpaste, on my toothbrush and then to wash it off. I mean, it's fairly straightforward. It's kind of a little bit gross to spit into here, but I don't know if it's actually any different than spitting into a sink, you know? So that's about how I do it. So so the last thing for me to do is take my meds, take and then leaving here and then going to my place. I'm not gonna film that because number one, I don't want you to see where I sleep because that's just weird. And number two, because I wanna be stealth. When I pull in, I put up all my window sh coverings and go to sleep. Now I also actually, what happens is I put up all my window coverings then I actually do a number of things. I put together my CPAP, you know, hook everything up to the battery. I use my Cephaly device. I change my pajamas, actually change the pajamas first. Use my Cephaly device and then I go to sleep. So I'm probably, it takes me about half an hour from when I park to when actually I'm sleeping, but I use no lights during that time. So it doesn't really look like it. Now, if someone was like really watching my car, they'd see the car move around a little bit, but that's the only thing that they would see. So I am going to be signing off here. Thank you for joining a day with me as I took the day off for the most part to go on a hike and go to the beach and just kind of enjoy going, doing something else than staying here in town. So next week, what I'm going to be doing is going on a camping trip and including testing out something new that someone got me as a birthday present. So until then, pop in the comments to say hi. Otherwise, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.